Um, you can blame Tom later for, for, for the one minute silence because now I've got heaps of talking to do. This <laughs> make up for that. But no, anyway, um, Tom wants to introduce a great initiative of taking the bags across greens um, to speed up play. It doesn't only speed up play, guys. From my point of view, it reduces the wear on the golf course. It's a good thing. So I'm happy to introduce it. I'm all for it. Um, it was one of the main things that I wanted to get going at this club once I got the greens healthy enough. I think it's very important at the right time of year. Um, so I'm just going to discuss or just talk to you about the way that I think it should be done. Um, so what happens when we all play golf, most of the time, out of the group of four, probably at least one or two guys, normally at least two guys are playing the hole pretty good, they're on the fairway, they're up near the green, they're keeping up a piece of cake, the group in front's not getting away, and two guys might struggle, especially if you play with someone like Walker, and those guys that are struggling, what happens okay. is, is they're the guys that are probably going to get further and further behind. Now when they get up near the green, they'll quite often find themselves short-siding themselves to the, to the pin or to the to the next tee, and rather than going all the way around the green, putting heaps of impact on the edge of the green, what they'll do is they'll go right over the middle of the green. But what you've got to do, rather than, um, when, you, when we're mowing the golf course and when you guys are walking around the golf course, most of the wear happens between the bunker and the start of the green. Now when we're mowing the green, we always have to get to the edge of the green and then you have to skirt in between the bunker and the edge of the green and go off and do a circle, come back and keep cutting the green. Now, you also do a lap of the green most days. Now that lap of the green is in exactly the same position every day. So those three tyre marks become pronounced on that lap. Along with the traffic that's walking on the edge and all the other mowers going along the edge, there's an enormous amount of compaction and enormous amount of wear on the edge of the green and that causes the edge of the green to get deteriorated. So what we want to do is we want to encourage the golfers, especially those that aren't keeping up, to go across the middle of the green so what you've got to make sure is you want to make sure that you're never between the perimeter, which is the first two metres from the edge of the green, for at least two metres on the green. So you want to be cutting across the green. If you're going around in a half horseshoe, you'll be three or four metres on the green in a half horseshoe. But most of the time, you'll literally grab the bag and you'll go, you'll go right across the middle of the green. And if you've got a playing partner on the green, you might just have to skirt around his ball you know, and if the pin's over this side, and you can get to the edge and just push your bag over the other side. But the, the middle of the green is the secret. If we start getting all the golfers going along the edge of the green, we won't be really achieving the result that we're trying to achieve. So that's that's probably the main secret. And, and also, for those golfers that don't have to cut across the green, because they're keeping up, they've hit the green in red, we're waiting for the group in front anyway, well, that's when we don't have to cut across the green. It's not necessary. So it's about, it's about taking that judgment call to be able to say, this is a good time to cut across the green. We're not keeping up. I'm not impacting the surface at all. In fact, I'm, I'm preserving the golf course and, and make that sort of educated decision if we can.